All right, let's just jump right into this massive Walmart try-on haul. They have so many cute new spring arrivals that I'm excited to review and style with you today. I'll have everything linked below and pinned to a top comment. And then I also will save everything in an LTK folder if you prefer to shop with a little more visual and images that will make it a lot easier to shop. So I'll have all of that linked below. Starting off with this white dress, easily going to be one of my favorites from the haul. I love a little white dress and it's easily something that I reach for over and over again throughout spring and summer. This one has such a cute fit. I love the cinching at the waist. It gives it this really nice A-line shape. I also love that this one has buttons so it makes it really easy to get off and on without getting makeup all over it. It has a little ruffle detail here. Um, you can roll up the sleeves or leave them buttoned and tailored up. I think this is a great workwear piece for the summer as well. It is definitely on the thinner side, but I wouldn't say it's sheer because I'm not wearing, I'm just wearing neutrals underneath and because it's flowy, you cannot see anything, but for work or somewhere you're going to be in some weird lighting, it wouldn't hurt to wear a little slip underneath. I'm wearing a size small and you can transition with this in between seasons. So winter to spring or even summer to fall by throwing a sweater over this or layering a cardigan. I'll insert some photos here of how I've layered a white dress before in the past, but this one has such a cute fit, definitely a favorite. I know without a doubt these cardigans are going to sell very quickly. I still wanted to mention them in case your size or color option is still available. I bought the black and white. I got the black in an extra small because the one from last year ran very big, but this one definitely runs a little more true to size, so I could use a small in this one. I love the scalloped detail all the way down. It has really substantial gold buttons. I ended up getting a medium and a cream because they were out of my size, but we'll try it on and style it a couple of ways here. Just wanted to quickly mention this is absolutely going to be a very quick bestseller. All right, here is the white cardigan. As you can see, it's a little bit roomy and boxy on me. Like I said, this is a medium. So I'm gonna have to watch for a restock on the smaller sizes, but I absolutely love it. The scallop is so cute. Definitely very J Crew, and it's under $30. It's $26 full price, which is crazy. Underneath, I layered a basic white tee from Walmart. It's very fitted, as you can see, even the sleeve is fitted, but that is very on trend right now and it's really easy to layer with. If you're in between and you don't want it to be as fitted, you can definitely size up. I'm wearing a small. And then these jeans are such a surprise. Cannot believe these are from Walmart. I love the slim straight fit. The wash is also really nice. It's darker so you can dress it up or down. I'm 5'5 for height reference and I love where they hit right above the ankle bone. I'm wearing a four, so I would say they run bigger. I would at least recommend to size down if you're in between. I'm usually a four or a six in jeans, depending on the brand, and I even have room to, I could have easily done a two in these, I think. They're stretchy, they have a really good pocket placement in the back. Like they're not, like the pocket's not in a weird place or anything, and they fit really good, and they're comfortable. So these are such a great affordable jean find. All right, this next pairing is kind of taking me back because it was actually my work dress code when I worked at Coach. At least I was working there when they changed it. We used to wear black and white like suit outfits and then they changed it to jeans and a navy blazer and flats. So this is definitely taking me back to those times, but this is definitely a very classic look. I have the same jeans on. I think if I switched it out for a skinny jean and paired it with a riding boot, it would feel very just timeless kind of Ralph Lauren vibes. With the slim straight, I didn't pair it with a boot just because it bunches a little bit at my knee and I don't necessarily love that look. But this blazer is, it kind of has like a cotton, I feel like it's just a cotton blazer, but the style and shape of it is very similar to Veronica Beard as far as the angles of it and it looks great open or if you want to wear it buttoned up. It works both ways and it doesn't feel too boxy because it does come in and give you some nice shape. Has a very light padding on the shoulders. I am wearing a size small and then underneath I have that same white basic. 
Okay, here is the black cardigan in the extra small, and I think it fits great. So if you are in between and you want it to fit closer and less boxy, I would size down. I, again, I'm in an extra small. It will be a little bit of a closer fit if you want to wear it, if I want to button it all the way. But with these, you can style them a lot of different ways. So I like that I have the option to wear it open with the size down. You could button just this top button. You can button just the middle button. Lots of different options with this. Have on the same $10 white tee underneath. And then these pleated pants are so comfortable. They remind me a lot of a pant that I have in a gray color. Let me brighten it so you can hopefully see the detail a little bit better. Okay, so that's it overexposed, but it has a pleated detail. They do run on the longer side. I'm wearing them with a flat and they are dragging a little bit. So just a heads up there if you are petite or just depending on what shoes you want to wear them with. But they are so comfortable. If you have a very casual work dress code, you can definitely dress them up. They're really great to wear around the house too. I'm wearing a small. They just have a very stretchy elastic waistband. Okay, also how cute is this little pearl beret. So you could style it with the pearls either in the front or the back. It doesn't really matter, but it has more here and it kind of fades to where there's none on this side. And this is, I think under $15. I love the color and of course the pearls. I know some of you do prefer a little bit longer hemline. So I saw this dress and wanted to give it a try. It's a linen texture, has a very organic look and feel to it. I would say it is very bump friendly. You could just wear this like over top of the bump and it would also be nursing friendly too because it does have functional buttons, which is nice. I had to untie the sleeves because they were way too tight and there's really no point for them to be super tight because you will just feel claustrophobic. And I think it looks more flattering if it sort of floats on the arm. I am wearing a size small, it's true to size. I think it does come in one other color option. Very comfortable. Um, I did have to do quite a bit of steaming to this one and it is a thicker material, so it's not lined, but it is not see-through. And then I paired the look with these sandals, which are very comfortable. They have a thick blocked heel. I would say it's maybe two and a half inches. They are true to size for sandals. I can be an eight and a half or a nine. And I went with an eight and a half in these, which is what I usually do for open toed sandals. They're comfortable. I love the texture to them and they have like a memory foam bottom. So they are very comfortable. Just kidding. In that one, I was wearing an extra small. So if in between, I would say you do have room to size down for a closer fit. I have honestly been so impressed with this haul already. So many good finds. Honestly, let me know what y'all's favorites are once you get through the video. But next up is this layered sweater dress. And this, for one, the material is so soft and comfortable. I love the light kind of heathered oatmeal color of this. It's such a great soft neutral. I am wearing an extra small. I did belt it just to shorten it a little bit. I feel like the white layer underneath does come down pretty significantly. I think it hits like right at my knee. I will show you what it looks like unbelted just for those of you wanting to see. I think this would be a really great workwear piece. Very comfortable. Honestly, like a great year round seasonal piece too. You could wear it now with tights if you want to, but it will also be great for the springtime. Okay, here it is without the belt. It's not too long, especially for work, but I just feel like adding that belt does give a little bit more shape to it since it is pretty straight down. I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I am wearing an extra small in this one. This is another really good and flattering work dress as well. Love the fit of it. Love the flowy little skirt situation. I think this one does come in another color option. I went with the black just to kind of mix it up, but very flattering. I'm wearing an extra small. Also a really great like nursing friendly dress option for one, the buttons are functional. And two, this has like a wrap piece and it actually is open right here. So very easy access, at least on that side. But I just think this has such a girly, cute little fit. Does have a collar detail here. You can unbutton the sleeves if you want to roll them up to make it more casual. 
and this just sort of drapes across and I tied it here. It's kind of hard to see the black, but it has a little tie detail at the waist. All right, next up is this turtleneck sleeveless sweater. This one came in, I think, three color options. I am wearing an extra small in this one as well. It has a little bit of texture to it. Not sure if the camera's gonna pick that up or not. But these are really great transitional pieces in between seasons, but you can also layer a long sleeve underneath if you wanna wear it now. I styled it with the same jeans from earlier. I kind of wanted to do a date night look with these and dress them up with a heel. And then I tucked the sweater into my bra in both the front and the back just because it had, let me pull it out. I just feel like it looks more flattering than doing a front tuck in this situation because it does have a pretty big slit on the side and I just feel like you end up getting a little bit of a messier look with it. So I just tucked it, or you can even tuck it underneath, but I just tucked it into my bra. All right, next up is a casual Friday office look. I had to style this pink blazer, of course, and it did not disappoint. It has really good lines and a great shape to it. I also love how tailored and modern it looks. There's no buttons to it. It just sits really nicely on its own. It is a little bit longer, so kind of slightly more boyfriend style, but not like big boyfriend style. I just feel like it comes down a little bit longer, really nice tailored fit through the shoulder. And I also like how the sleeves are kind of already bunched up for you and they have this little button detail. So you don't have to worry about rolling them, but it does make it more casual just depending on your dress code. I think there might actually be matching pants to this as well. Underneath, I layered this cute little scallop free assembly tank. It has a scallop here. Would be so cute, again, to transition with into the spring season. It is a warmer cream color, which isn't necessarily my favorite. I do wish it was a little bit of a brighter white because I feel like that's more flattering on my skin tone personally, but if you look great in olives or warmer tones, then this will be a great basic for you. Free assembly in general runs more true to size. I got an extra small on this one and it is a little more fitted. I think a small would be better. I find that time and true runs bigger. So I do tend to size down in that one to an extra small more often. And then here again are those same jeans. They look great with heels, but also work great with flats as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or if I said the wrong size, but I'm actually wearing an extra small in the blazer. This is the same blazer, but it comes in this gorgeous like Tiffany blue color as well. And in this one, I'm wearing a small, so you can see the sizing difference. I do think the extra small fit a little bit. I just tend to like things to be a little more fitted, especially because it has enough stretch to it to where I did not feel restricted. But I kept on the same tank top underneath and then I paired it with these black work pants which I was so excited about because they remind me a lot of one of my personal favorite work pants back in the day from Leaf. I was so sad when they discontinued them and these are nearly identical. They are longer. I'm wearing a flat here and they're almost a little bit too long for me so just a heads up there if you are petite. I think they would look better with a heel just so they weren't resting on the top of my foot. I'm wearing a small, I could not, I wouldn't want to size down because I think these have a really good fit in the butt. However, I do wish the smocking in the back was a little bit tighter. It just seems to be sitting around my waist, which defeats the purpose of it even being kind of smocked in the back. I don't know if you can see that, but starting in the, like it's smooth in the front and then the back has like the scrunchy, stretchy waistband, but just wish it was a little bit tighter to sit flat back there. The work pants are very comfortable, pretty basic, great little affordable pant. I think they are right around $20. And of course I had to try the matching gorgeous Tiffany blue pants as well. And these have a really flattering fit. I'm wearing a size four. They fit true to size. They have a really nice strong pleat to them. A little bit of pleat detail through here, but it's not too big and bunchy. If anything, the waist almost sits a little high for me, but that's probably why I can wear the four. If it was sitting lower, I would probably have to go with the six. Great length, I'm 5'5", again, and I'm wearing them with the heel. Definitely could not do a flat with these, 
but I think this is such a cute spring workwear piece and also very on trend if you saw my 2024 fashion trends. This color is so beautiful. Here's a better look at the back of it. There's no pockets or anything. It does have belt loops if you want to add a belt to it. And it also has functional pockets. All right, next up is this extremely comfy t-shirt dress. I feel like if you have a casual work environment where you could wear this to, I think it'd be great for like teacher outfit. I absolutely would recommend because it honestly feels like pajamas. The material is so, so soft. I would be careful with washing the material. I wouldn't pair it with something. I mean, I wouldn't wash dark jeans with it or anything, but something like towels or anything that could rub it a little bit more. I feel like it might pill a little easy. So, I mean, I can't say for sure, but I just feel like it is a really soft material that I would be a little bit careful with in the laundry. You could even throw it in a garment bag and that will keep it safe, but it is extremely comfortable. I love that it comes with the belt because that definitely makes it way more flattering. I am wearing a small, I could have easily sized down. I think it would be a little bit more flattering. It's kind of hanging off my shoulders here a little bit, but I was thinking it might be really long and frumpy and it's actually not. So very comfy. I also really like this pink color and it does have like a white heathering throughout. Next up is this gorgeous blue top. It has this gauzy cotton material to it. And this top, as soon as I saw it, reminded me of my go-to work outfits back when I was a PT. This was pretty much my go-to style of work top. Has a very flattering kind of tunic style neckline. I always preferred like non-collared shirts and it's thick enough, definitely not sheer. Looks good untucked, I like the flowiness to it, but you could also do a little front tuck if you want. And then the sleeves have smocking and they are three quarter. I am wearing a size small, I paired it with white jeans here. And then these shoes I've had for a couple years. I don't know if they brought them back, but I'll try to find something similar if not. All right, next is this stripe tunic and I bought this specifically to just be a go-to legging top. I actually sized up in it to a medium because I did not want it to be fitted around the hips. And I think overall it has that sort of fit anyway, so you could get your normal size, but I kind of like how the medium fits here, which is a normal eight to 10. It has this slouchy neckline. So I just kind of let it hang down. I didn't want it, you can tighten it, but I don't like that look. So I just kind of made it relaxed, let these kind of fall down. I rolled the sleeves to give it a little bit of style, but just a very comfy, casual top that will definitely be perfect to pair with leggings. I just kept on the white jeans here because that's what I had on, but I also think it works with jeans too. Next up is this pink and white top. This honestly feels very like classic Walmart to me. I feel like every year I find a top similar to this one and style it with white jeans for the spring season. It has a little ruffle sleeve and a little tie detail, which you could tie or leave it long, depending on what you want. Definitely keep it neutral underneath. It is on the thinner and sheer side. So definitely something to wear once it warms up for sure. And if you're going to wear this to work, I would recommend a tank underneath just because I don't like when you can see pant details coming through. I'm wearing a small here. It is pretty boxy. I wouldn't necessarily size down though, because I think an extra small would fit too tight or too narrow in my shoulders, I guess. And I do want to mention it does have coverage under the sleeve, thankfully, because I hate when tops are loose around the arm and then there's nothing there. It's not cute. Let me know what your favorites were from today's haul or if you plan to pick anything up down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more hauls here on my channel. Thank y'all for watching and I will see you later this week with a new video. Bye!